Hey everybody, welcome back to Lift Ran Tool On. If you've been keeping up with the new tools, you know that Ryobi has kicked out a lot of new tools recently. A lot of really exciting tools, and one of the tools that's on the top of the list is the brand new 40 volt wet dry vac. Now, I've already done a review on this, but I've had a few requests. So now we're actually going to put it up against the 18 volt wet dry vac. Now, this is a really famous wet dry vac. In fact, I think it's the most famous wet dry vac that they've ever made because of the durability, the capabilities of it as well. Now here's a fun fact about both of these. They're both rated at 80 CFM. So there's some confusion on the performance, what's gonna last longer, which has more power. Now everybody's gonna say it has to be the 40 volt because it's 40 volts. Well, that's not necessarily true. So a couple things about these two, when this first came on the market, the durability and just the orientation of it, it really made some great positive impacts on the market. Here's a couple things that we should take a look at. Do you see this large wheel right here? Well, that is your center or your fulcrum, whatever you want to call it, fulcrum. Um, and it just kind of wibbles around. You have a couple casters down here. Right here, these are pretty durable, big casters. And you can throw this thing around. I've dropped it off the back of trucks. I have beat it to death. And it, not, and it hasn't missed a beat at all. I haven't had any issues. It hasn't failed. It's awesome. And it just rolls anywhere you want to. Um, it has an inch and, what, 7 8 hose. This has an inch and 7 8 hose as well. This has a couple extensions. It has a flat uh, floor for, you know, picking up water. This does too. And they both have crevices as well, crevice tools. Now, for this one right here, this has the cheapest casters I've ever seen on any tool in my life. These are just absolutely embarrassing to put on a wet dry vac. This is built, the built quality of this is awesome. I mean, this is awesome. It has a hose deck that's on top of it. I really think they went out on all on this one. If we look at the latches alone, uh, this is a removable latch. You can actually, you know, pop it off. So you can take it off if you need to. If you ever break it or you know you need to replace it and then if you want to put it back on it's pretty simple you just squeeze it back on there and that's how you lock the top down oh, lost the hose and and there you go so the build quality is there I think that the quality of this is just far superior in terms of engineering than this one this has little push tabs right here and you know what in all honesty, I think that's an economical engineering methodology. You know, so they valued engineered it. Um, you know, how you ho store the hose on this when you wrap it around the top. You know, I, I think that's pretty typical. So we're going to put these head to head against each other. And we're going to do a few tests to see, well, which one is actually right. That's going to include how fast it can actually suck up water. So we're going to take two five gallons uh, buckets of water. And we're going to see which one can actually pick it up the fastest and get all that water out of the bucket. And then we're going to do a run test. How long do they actually run? Now, is this going to shine on the run test? Is it going to shine on the power? Well, I'm not sure. That's why we're going to do the test. So I hope you all stick around. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so for the test, we're going to use two fully charged 4 amp hour batteries for both of these. And um, the first test we're going to do, we have a nice mixture pile of sawdust, wood chips, things like that in here. We're gonna do a single swipe. We're gonna put them next to each other. Let's just see how they look. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so that did it without any issues. Man, that little vacuum feels so powerful. Something I failed to mention, on the larger vacuum, it does have two speeds. For all of the tests I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna run it on the second speed. So let's go ahead and get this started. Oh. It's a little bit wider in some places. Um, but I think they did the same job. Okay, so for this test, this is kind of like a weight test. What we're going to do is put the vacuum on the wood and we're gonna pick up the wood to see if they both will pick up the wood. And if they do, then we're gonna to continue to add weight to that so we can see how strong the suction is. First, we're gonna start with the 18 volt. Okay. 
Okay, so the 18 volt was not able to pick this up. Let's try with the 40. If that doesn't work, we'll try the smaller one. Okay, so it was able, the 40 volt was able to do this, so it most certainly has more suction on it. This is a two by three, and it is 42 inches long there. So the 40 volt wins on that one. Okay, so now it's time for the bucket test. Both of these buckets have five gallons of water. We're gonna see which one can extract the water faster. Now, a couple things I wanna point out that I haven't yet is that the 40 volt has a nice little I think this is IP6 or something like that. Just water shield on top of the battery so water doesn't get down in there. We still have a full charged battery right here. Now over here on this little vacuum, the 18 volt, this does not have any type of water protection. This is open, now, that has never been an issue for me. Something I did not mention yet either is that this is only a six gallon capacity and this is a 10 gallon capacity. So these both should have no issues being able to suck all of this water. So without further ado, we're gonna do it at the same time. We're gonna put them on both the high modes and uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so unfortunately, there's some water left in here and I was not able to get this out of the bucket. This is for the uh, 18 volt. Um, there's no, there's a little bit of remnant water in here, but it had no issue with the 40 volt. I would say that's a capacity issue, but I gotta tell you, they were both very close going down. Of course, the 40 volt beat it, but you know what, not by much. That was a very interesting result. So let's jump on to the run test. Test. This is gonna be a little bit different than what we've done before. So I'm gonna run these both on high and we're gonna see how long they run. But just seeing how they run without any load, that's not really a true test. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cover these up. They're exactly the same with tape, about 75% of the actual opening itself. And what we're doing is creating a false load and we're going to see how this runs with 75% of the air blocked off. That's going to kick these up to work a little bit harder. Now, how are we going to actually do this? Well, I have a paper towel that's taped over top of this one. So as the air actually kicks out, we're going to see this moving and when it dies, well, that'll just drop right down. Same thing for this, but this doesn't have an outlet the same way that the 40 volt does. This actually just has an outlet on the top of the motor, but it blows out just the same. So when we see this die down, well, we know that it's done. I'm going to accomplish this because I have a security camera sitting right here and that's gonna be time stamped. So once we kick these both on, they're gonna run until they can't run any longer till we kill the battery and we're gonna see which one lasts the longest. Three, two, one. So while we're waiting on the runtime for the vacuums, I did want to talk about some of the shirts that we have. We have, this is the wood grain Ryobi shirt. We have hats, we have stickers, we have the Ryobi Rebels, which is a Facebook page. Go over there and check it out. Join, we'd love to have you there as well. Check it out, links down in the description. Let's get the elephant out of the room. This says or advertises that it will run for 60 minutes. That was not the case. If that was the case, this would be on setting number one, not setting number two, which is the highest setting. This ran for a glorious 12 minutes. This ran for a glorious 16 minutes. 
Now, I covered the opening of the hose up 75% or three quarters. And the reason why, because I wanted to give you at the most real life test that I possibly could. You're not going to run these just sitting there running on absolutely nothing. You're going to be sucking up water. You're going to be doing a lot. Now, if you're going to run this consistently, you would be stopping to empty these out if it's with water. But if you're going to run it continuously, 12 minutes and 16 minutes, both on the high setting. I don't know if you're disappointed with that. I think that this has much more power in it, or at least capabilities. Um, but I think that the size of this, you know, this is still a really great option. The mobility of it, it just moves around so much nicer than this guy right here. These casters are, I don't know, I'm going to have to find something better for these casters, a good replacement for them. Um, but if I had to choose one, I'm still going to choose the 40 volt. And the reason why is because the power and, well, the capacity. This is 10 gallons, right? This struggled to even get 5 gallons. In fact, it didn't even get all of the 5 gallon bucket up off the floor. So I'm going to be changing this less often. But if I'm looking to go on a job site and I want to carry one battery, and that is the 18 volt battery, well, I'm going to be taking this or my 3 gallon because of the mobility of that. So I hope that this helps somebody. I hope that this opened your eyes. I hope that it was entertaining as well. Hey, if it was, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.